After 12 years of service to the Hopkinton Public Library, Youth Services Librarian Denise Coffrin will be retiring at the end of the month. There was recently a celebration to honor her wonderful career. Oh, well, it's been the best 12 years. Um, I have a fabulous, fabulous support staff here. Everybody has been wonderful. And I will miss them terribly. They, they, I have, uh, in the children's room, I have um, Donna and Nancy and Carol and Nia, and the, I couldn't run the place without them. I really couldn't. All right, and um, what's it like to have everybody here today uh, just kind of celebrate your um, excellent career? Oh, well, it's, it's, it's humbling. I'm, I'm delighted to see some of the people who've come in so far, and um, it just warms my heart. Um, one of the best things about working here is having so many children come in and, and touching them and helping them, guiding them in their reading and having them come back for more. That's the best. All right, terrific. Um, and uh, so what's your uh, retirement plans? Any fun vacations coming up? Well, I have, I'm going to Florida in March and I have a, a fall vacation planned. And um, But I'd like to do some volunteering and probably help the friends here and um, maybe take some courses. Uh, there's this lifelong learning program that um, has a lot of wonderful courses and I think that sounds like a fun thing to do because no homework and papers. <laughs> All right, well congratulations on a wonderful career. Thank you so much. I think um I know, I know with all the kids in the room, it, it, there is going to be some level of everybody's doing their own thing, but for the adults anyway, um, if I could just say a few words, and Denise, if it's not going to embarrass you too much to have you up here with me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, this is such a, gr a great turnout, and I, I can't say I'm surprised to see such a great turnout. I think everybody probably more or less knows me, but I'm Heather, I'm the library director. Um, and I want to say thank you so much to everybody for coming out tonight to help us celebrate 12 years of Mrs. K instilling a, a love of reading and learning for the children of Hopkinton. Um, I've worked with Denise for about four and a half years now. And in that time, I have come to know her as an intensely dedicated, committed, passionate, knowledgeable librarian. Um, she is someone who really wants things to be just right for the community because she understands how important her work is. The children's room is the foundation of any public library. You know, it is where we develop not only lifelong library users, hopefully, but lifelong learners, and where we give people that foundation of literacy skills and the thirst for knowledge that generates curiosity, that motivates people lifelong to engage with their world and be active, talented, competent adults. And Denise has helped probably thousands of children in her time here along that journey. Um, the people gathered in this room representing just the merest fraction of people um, who she's helped. The kindergartners she began working with back in 2007 are now juniors and seniors in high school. Mm -hmm. She's seen an entire class through their whole primary school career. And in that time, she's led story times. She's supervised stuffed animal sleepovers, which I don't know if you've seen the photos. Those can get quite rowdy. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, she has run Harry Potter events at every possible opportunity. Just my arm. <laughs> We've actually got Hogwarts on there. <laughs> um, she's launched enthusiastic readers from the children's room book clubs. Uh, there have been groups of kids who have gone through the book clubs year after year after year who have grown in their reading as they have grown um, along with Mrs. K. She's run a dozen successful summer reading programs, no mean feat. She's welcomed kindergartners to the children's room every spring in many cases giving them their very first library card. And she's built relationships with the children of Hopkinton not only as patrons but as volunteers, uh, a number of whom are in this room today. 
Um, there are a lot of accomplished young people who got one of their early tastes of responsibility, shelving books. Well, not quite right in this room, but in a children's room <laughs> in the library. We also now, through Denise's support, have older teenagers who are coming back into the room, running events, sharing their passions with their younger neighbors, and really engaging with their community. And of course I have to mention the building renovation. Um, when Denise worked with her colleagues to move the entire library into our temporary space and then move it all back in here and then worked to grow and expand our services, our programs here in this building, which is a truly monumental feat and something that really is worth being very, very proud of. All right. <laughs> Sorry, notes. Um, Many of the children Denise has worked with will remember the relationship she built with them for years to come. Um, the things that I hear, you know, I know that there is that wonderful relationship and bond and people have been really affected by Denise. Many of their parents will gratefully recall Denise's help when, say, they came in the children's room in a panic because they were mystery reader the next day and they didn't have a book yet. Or when they just needed that perfect book to turn on their reluctant reader to a love of reading. Or when they needed that perfect book to get their very enthusiastic reader to stop reading the same series over and over and over and try something new. Denise has a truly uncanny ability. I'm still in awe of it. You can walk up and tell her what you're looking for and she doesn't even need to touch the computer most of the time. She can not only tell you two or three or four great options, but she can walk you to the stacks and pull them off the shelf. She does not need the library catalog most of the time. She is the library catalog for this children's room. And it's, it's really a testament to her love of this literature and love of this work. So um, she's left her mark on this community and this library in so many ways. I've barely scratched the surface. I know we have people who are eagerly waiting for the cake, so I'm not going to uh, go on about everything she's done because it would take a very long time. But if you look in the shelves in this room, I mean, you see they're bursting with books that are exciting to draw kids into the world of reading and learning. If you look at our events calendar, you'll see many new and wonderful programs that have been added since we renovated alongside time-tested standbys that are perennially popular. If you look around this room right now, we have a room full of people who all took time out of their evening to come here tonight because in some way, Mrs. K touched every one of you. And if you look around the room itself and beyond the people to the physical room, this space is full of little touches, Denise's ideas that she pushed for during the process because she wanted to make this a welcoming and comfortable space for our youngest patrons. Um, the whole room, everything that we're seeing today is a reflection of Denise's work and dedication through 12 great years at this library. So, on behalf of the community, on behalf of your colleagues, on behalf of the trustees, thank you, Denise, for your dedication to the town and the library. Thank you for the energy and the passion and the ideas you've brought to this department for the last 12 years. We are grateful for your contributions. We wish you the very best in retirement. And in recognition of the impact you've had on the community, the staff wanted to give the community the opportunity to tangibly appreciate um, or demonstrate their appreciation to you. So um, thanks to their efforts and the contributions of many, many people from Hopkins and beyond, we have a little something, which you can open now if you want. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can. So what this is, is we have collected from patrons, uh, colleagues, thoughts, memories, well wishes, comments for you to take with you as you go into retirement. Oh, that's great. Thank you. This is, this is wonderful. This is awesome. And if there's anybody in the room who hasn't contributed, she's here through the end of January, so we can keep adding. <laughs> Just talk to the staff. Um, but really, I mean, that says volumes. <laughs> oh, it, it certainly does, and I, I can't wait to actually yeah. go through it up. 
And I see lots of Harry Potter things in here. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and with that, unless we um, I just want to thank everybody here who's, who's come um, today. And I've had a wonderful 12 years here. I've enjoyed um, every single minute of it. Um, I have loved seeing your children grow up, some of whom came in in, in utero, and I've, I've, I've seen them go through. I've lost a lot of people to Anne downstairs and young adult, but um, that's how it should be. Um, if any of you ever got an email from me um, a, on my professional account, um, most librarians have a little tag at the bottom and we have a quote from some book and, and mine of course is, well that's what Hermione does, when in doubt, go to the library, which is the wisdom of Ron Weasley. Um, and I don't think you have to be in doubt to go to the library, but when you want to know something, it's the best place to go and Hermione knows that. And um, I'll just end with the fact that Harry and Ron would have really been up a creek without a paddle if Hermione didn't read. So. <laughs> I think everybody's been waiting for the cake after the talk.